Things took a turn at the Limestone County Courthouse Tuesday morning. Several people gathered to hear the sentencing of Mason Sisk, who was found guilty of capital murder for the death of his five family members. Uh, Circuit Judge Chad Wise decided he would not issue a sentence yesterday, but wanted to hear victim impact statements and arguments from the prosecution and defense. And News 19's Mariah Wiggs joins us now with more details. Good morning, you guys. That's right. The courtroom heard from several of those witnesses, including relatives of Mary Sisk, Mason Sisk's stepmother, and some law enforcement officers that responded to the scene of the crime in 2019. Now, Mary's sister, she says that Mason's own choices brought him to this point. Some family members said they hope the judge imposes the harshest possible sentence. In this case, that will be life in prison without the possibility of parole. The state doubled down on that request. The Limestone County District Attorney Brian C.T. Jones told the court, when we go to bed at night, lock our doors and turn our alarms on. He's what we're afraid of. When kids are scared of monsters, he's who we're afraid of. Meanwhile, several of the defense's witnesses told the court they didn't believe Mason was responsible. They said he was a gentle, caring person, and some said his father had created an abusive environment. They also expressed concern that he would not be safe in an Alabama prison. Now, Judge Wise said he chose not to hand down the sentence yesterday because he must weigh out different factors before making a decision. Wise also said all the testimony and victim impact statements from Tuesday are under advisement. He will announce the sentence during a hearing at a later time. You can read more of those detailed um, impact statements on our website, whnt.com, and we'll continue to keep you updated with the latest. For now, reporting live this morning, Mariah Wiggs, News 19.